what's up my fitness family? My name is Brent Casper, this is BKPT, and guess what? I got seven strength training exercises for men to man up, baby. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Mash that notification bell, that way you're notified as all the newest content is coming out. And also, show me some love. Give me some likes, folks. Come on now, I love it. And also, I want to hear exercises from you that you feel are man up exercises, all right? So these are not your chest flies. Ooh, look pretty in the gym. Bicep curls. Nope. They're not on there. What else do you think's not on there? Calf raises. Oh yeah, look at them legs. <laughs> leg extensions. Whoa, I got massive quads from doing leg extensions. No, all right. So these are some man up exercises, baby. All right, so we wanna make sure that A, you know what you're doing. B, you're not slapping 500 pounds on here because I'm telling you to man up. I want you to still do these properly, but these are seven man up exercises, all right? So follow along with me, folks. We got, bam, the squat, I know. Whoop, just lost a bunch of viewers right there. You don't wanna know why? Because it wasn't the bench press right away. So number one, number one is the squat. Why, why is this a man up exercise? So. The reason this is a man up exercise is because A, it's a big muscle. Don't leave it out. You don't want to have that prison build, all right? You don't want to be sitting there, that person that does like 3,000 push-ups or 3,000 bench presses per week and never does legs. Why? Ow, it hurts. I don't want to do it because then I can't sit down, I can't walk. Or this is the best one. I love this, is my favorite. But I'm a runner. My legs are strong enough. Yes, okay, sure. So anyways, I'm not even gonna go into all of that. But it's time to put some weight on the bar, get up underneath it, push through your heels. You know, improper squatting is not good for you, but the word squat, don't run away from it, all right? So squats, all right? I'm gonna go through the list first. And then I'm gonna demonstrate it all. We got squats, we got barbell glute raises or hip thrusts, we got barbell bench press. See, it's in there. You should have stayed on watching a little bit longer. All right, barbell bent over rows. We got, yes, my favorite, the deadlift. The deadlift is the best, I feel, exercise. All right, the military press. And then also pull-ups, all right? So pull-ups, yeah, baby, they're on there. They give you that V-cut, all right? So now we're gonna go through just the exercises themselves. Yeah, you can stop watching now, but guess what? Go back and watch some of my other videos if you don't need this demonstration, because now you got the seven man-up exercises, all right? We're gonna start off with the squat. Make sure you're centered up on the squat bar. How do you do that? You wanna make sure your hands are positioned equally on the bar so that way when you duck up underneath it to get under the bar, we're going to be in the centered position, all right? So you wanna get into a position, feet shoulder width apart, toes forward, head up, back straight, and get that booty down, baby. None of that half squat crap, all right? Just because you're manning up and you're doing a squat, if you're not actually squatting, then it's not a man up squat, all right? So you wanna to try to get put to parallel. So find a box or a bench or set something behind you so that way you know what parallel is, all right? So make sure you stay on those heels, stay off your toes, that way you live the squat another day, all right? And build up. You don't wanna be benching more than you squat either. So if you're squatting 135 and you're benching 225, there's still a little bit of a problem. That's not manning up, sorry. All right, so build up into it though. So if you've been one of those guys and you're trying to like watch this video and, and start squatting, don't just start at whatever you were benching because you've been benching now for the last six years, all right? 
Start at a weight that's, you know, comfortable and then start to get uncomfortable with it once you've got the right form. All right, so the squat, okay? Hip thrusts, it's definitely way up there. So this is one of the exercises that I do with a lot of my athletes. And what I do is you wanna position the bar on the floor, you're going to grab a pad. So I have a wonderful hip thrust pad that we use here, but you can just use a folded up, you know, whatever, yoga mat. All right, because what else are yoga mats good for, right? Fold them up, use them as hip thrust pads. <laughs> so don't say I said that. I love yoga. So rolling this bar back onto your hips, you want to keep your back nice and tall on the bench, all right? And you're going to be driving straight up, all right? So don't push back. Push straight up. So hands on the bar, driving straight up, pushing through your heels, and using that part on the bench as a pivot point, okay? So it's right below your scapula, so your, your shoulder blades in the back, and you're just pivoting up from that. This is one of those exercises. I tell you what, you get good and strong at this one. Not only are you gonna rack up that hormone, the testosterone, and everything, all of your lifts are going to skyrocket, all right? I promise you that. Do you get good at this? You're going to skyrocket on all of your lifts, meaning your squat, your bench. Yes, you can hip thrust and get stronger on your bench. It's possible, I'm not feeding you a line of crap, I promise, all right? So hip thrusts is a man up exercise. So barbell bent over row, same thing. You're building that massive back, that depth, that 3D effect. So building those nice mounds back there. So you just wanna make sure you're doing it properly, hinging that back, you know, keeping yourself nice and tight. So pick up the bar, stay tight, hinging forward and rowing it right to you. Getting that depth, the depth, that thickness of your back, all right? That's why you do the barbell bent over row or the dumbbell row. It doesn't matter which one you do, whichever one you feel like you are safe with, but at the same time, you can push the limits. So pushing those limits, all right? Making sure you're nice and strong and getting thicker. All uh, right, yeah. So and as that back gets nice and strong, we're gonna get into those deadlifts. So deadlifts, you're bending your knees, back's nice and tall, heads up, and you're driving through those heels just like you would squat, all right? So your feet are shoulder width apart, head up, back straight, and you're just picking that bar up. Nice and tall, finish the mo motion. So none of this half motion stuff, all right? Nice, tall, finish the motion. Don't just drop the weight and be a meathead. You know, pick that bar up, control it, and slide it down your shins and your legs, keeping it tight to you. Don't just swing it out there and set it down because then you're gonna end up hurting your back, all right? Deadlifts, by far, fan freaking tastic exercise. Of course you got the barbell or dumbbell shoulder press. It doesn't matter which one. So like, like I say, I'm saying barbell, but at the end of the day, it's, it's the motion. So these are all big motions, building those big cinder block muscles. So that way you feel strong, your body is strong, and you know, you're getting the most bang for your buck doing them. So shoulder press, hands are shoulder width apart. Seated positions, typically you'll be able to go stronger, meaning going heavier with. So with the back upright, you wanna make sure that you're nice and tall. One huge tip that I can give you with the shoulder press is do not overextend. So don't lock it out, all right? There's a lot of shoulder exercises you are gonna lock out, but when you're doing this one, I want you to stay tight. Hands, if you're not using a barbell, using a dumbbell, a little bit of an angle, and just pumping up about 85% of the way. It really 
keeps all that pressure right there on your front deltoid, all right? Building that nice block up here, all right? Shoulder press, bent over rows, pull-ups. Obviously, the pull-ups are a great exercise, you know? Same thing. Don't worry about going so wide at first. Yes, the wider you go, the wider you grow. It's the truth. But to get good at them first, you want to go shoulder width. So you're just going to literally reach up, and that's where you're going to grab the bar. So from here, make sure you have a good grip. You're going to pull your body straight up, but I want you to look up and arch your chest up nice and high and drive those elbows down. All of those things are important. Why? Because then that, that's what's engaging those lats the most. All right, so you're gonna reach up. That's the position you're going to grab the bar. Grip it tight. Because if you haven't seen, I have a whole video on the most common gym injury, and it's from doing pull-ups or any type of pulling motion. Because if you're using this grip and your finger slips, then all of a sudden your elbows are all twinged out, and it takes about a month or so to recover from that. That wonderful tennis elbow. So pull-ups, looking up, legs are down, and just arching that body up and grabbing those, getting those lats engaged. All right. So you know where we're going, baby, to the bench press. So I'm gonna give you a couple great nuggets since you've watched the video this long of why and how to bench and get the most out of your bench also. So like I shared with you before, the um, glute raise, surprisingly enough, is going to add a significant amount of weight to your bench because you're going to help your body to create the most growth hormone during that exercise. So I've helped tons of athletes put on massive amounts of muscle using that hip thrust. Do you see all that go down? There's a lot easier ways to do this, like take the weights off and put it on there, but guess what? That's not the way I always go. All right, so with the bench press, how to put on the most amount of bench besides glute raising. You wanna keep your feet tucked back behind you. So you don't want your feet way out here, so that way you're pulling. So you don't wanna be pulling with your feet and pushing with your arms. So it's almost like your body's fighting itself. So you'll make sure your toes are tucked back behind you and you're pushing, pushing yourself backwards where the bar's going. So that way, all of your power is going right there. So it's very important. You don't want your legs flailing out. You don't want them out here. You don't want to be arching all the way up. You want these feet driving you back. You want your body pushing back, all right? That's what's gonna give you that big old bench press. So you wanna make sure that also you're grabbing the bar at a point where your hands and your elbows are aligned. I see a lot of people grab the bar in tight. It's just a lot of triceps engaged. So you wanna make sure that that chest is engaged. Obviously, is, is, of course, is if you're not able to or it hurts, and obviously I tell people always, don't do it. Bars align with your eyeballs, picking the bar up and bringing it down right to that nipple line, nice and controlled, boom, drive up. So pushing through your toes, boom, straight up, driving off of your chest and locking it out. That is a good lockout. You do not want to overextend to where you're pushing those shoulders up too much. So those are some great nuggets with the bench. So, if you want to man up, these are seven exercises to man up, all right? So, not that you shouldn't do chest flies, not that you shouldn't do bicep curls. I'm just saying your entire workout program should not be based around those. They should be based around squat, hip thrust, deadlift, bent over rows, pull-ups, bench press, military press, all right? Seven exercises for you men to man up, baby, all right? My name is Brent Kaz, this is BKPT. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Mash that notification bell, that way you're notified as all the newest content is coming out. And definitely show me some love, give me some likes, 
And I will see you guys in the next episode.